Hello again, I'm John Terzak, and this lesson is about how to make an Indian style, vegetarian if you will, black bean preparation. Now, we're going to start by going over the ingredients real quick. I have a pound of black turtle beans, black beans, three cups of coconut milk out of the can, two cups of diced mirepoix, celery, carrots, and onions, about three or four ounces of whole unsalted butter, some serrano green chilies, and some fresh cilantro. And we have some cumin seeds, which we're going to grind, and that's where we're going to start. I'm going to grind, oh, we're probably going to need a couple of tablespoons total. Can't feed a coffee mill for this. See, that's ground, ready to go, you know? Okay, so I'm going to start by putting the butter in a hot pan that I have back here. And I'm going to fry the cumin in the butter. One of the things that's very characteristic about Indian dishes is that many of them the, well, the spices for uh, most, for the most part, are fried in butter before the rest of the foods are added to them. So that is fried, and now I'm going to add the mirepoix. And now I'm going to add the black beans. And I'm going to chop these uh, green chili serranos and the cilantro quickly and put it in there. So this is a very quasi-traditional. The only untraditional part about this particular formula is the addition of the minced carrot and celery uh, and uh, it added to the onion which uh, I kind of like, and uh, gives it a, a little bit more texture too, and color, and flavor. So let's just kind of rough chop these, but leave them in pieces, big enough so that they can be identified inside the finished pot. I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper in here and the coconut milk. Now, could you soak the beans in advance? Yes, you could. Do you need to? No, absolutely not. This is probably going to take about 45 minutes, give or take. I'm going to cook this on low to medium, covered, uh, throughout that entire time. I'm going to fast forward now to when these beans are done. And then we're going to finish them off and get them in a bowl for you. Oops, here's the cover. All right, see ya. Okay, the black beans are done. They cooked an hour and 20 minutes. I added three, two and a half to three cups of water to it over the time that it was cooking. And it's done now. And we're going to finish it off. Now, you see it's a little creamy looking. See, that's from that coconut milk, okay? It's a little bit loose, and, you know, I kind of like it that way. You know, it doesn't have to be. Otherwise, the op when it comes to beans, it seems like the opposite of loose is pasty, okay? Let's just put a little bit of olive oil on there for fun. I tasted it already once, and I think it needs, what I think it needs is a little bit of sugar and a little bit of salt, both which is a rare combination that anything needs those both when I'm finishing something. Let's just taste it again. It definitely needs the sugar. But I'm not going to make it sweet, but I want to take the edge off a little bit. Let's mix it in and see what that tastes like real quick. It's not that hot from the chilies, but I can taste the chili. Remember, unless you know somebody wants something really hot, 
It's one thing to put a little bit of heat in there from a chili or some kind of pepper. It's another thing to overload it and then somebody doesn't want it that hot. They can always, you can always give them some slice on the side to add to it. That little bit of sugar did what I wanted it to do. Now I'll show you one way that you can serve these, which is kind of fun. Obviously this has got family style written all over it. This is very Indian. And it's not just Indian. There's a couple of other cultures that would cook their black beans in coconut milk in a New York minute. So let's put, just for fun, let's put a dollop of sour cream on top of this. And let's put a little bit of honey on top of the sour cream. Not getting carried away there either. And let's take one more Serrano chili. Get some little paper thin slices here. To garnish the top of this. Nothing too fancy, but you know, it's, it's something. A little minced red pepper wouldn't hurt, but I don't have any around. But you know what to do when you have this in front of you. You put whatever you want on it. I'm just giving you one good Indian version of making black beans. And don't forget that step about frying the spice in the butter before you add. That brings the flavor of the cumin out and other spices as well. So there you have it. Black beans with green chilies and coconut vegetarian style. Enjoy it if you get a chance.